At the recent Changchun Air Show, China captured global attention by publicly showcasing a J-6 fighter aircraft converted into an unmanned drone, a rare sight that highlights the country's evolving approach to modern air warfare. Originally a Cold War-era fighter, the J-6, China's license-built version of the Soviet MiG-19, once formed the backbone of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. Today, decades after its retirement from frontline service, the aircraft has been reimagined for entirely unmanned operations, combining historical airframes with modern autonomous technology. The conversion illustrates China's focus on maximizing the utility of existing assets while exploring innovative applications in training and combat. The modifications made to the J-6 are extensive. Traditional onboard weapons, including cannons, as well as external fuel tanks and ejection seats, have been removed. In their place, engineers installed an automatic flight control system, an autopilot mechanism, and additional wing pylons to support versatile payloads. A terrain-following navigation system enables the aircraft to operate at low altitudes, maintaining pre-programmed flight paths even in challenging conditions. Together, these upgrades transform a manned fighter from the mid-20th century into a capable unmanned platform able to conduct missions autonomously. Although the J-6 drone reportedly completed its first unmanned flight as early as 1995, the public appearance at the Changchun Air Show signifies China's continued interest in repurposing legacy aircraft for modern operational roles. The drone can serve multiple functions, ranging from acting as a simulated attacker in training exercises to serving as a live target for air defense units. In doing so, it allows fighter pilots and ground-based crews operating radar-guided missile systems, tracking sensors, and other air defense apparatus to train under realistic conditions. The ability to mimic enemy aircraft while remaining expendable makes the J-6 drone a highly practical tool for both training and operational experimentation. China maintains a substantial stockpile of retired but airworthy J-6 fighters, and the decision to convert them into drones appears strategic. By leveraging these surplus aircraft, China gains a cost-effective means of generating realistic training environments for its military personnel. Moreover, the use of these drones as potential low-cost decoys could play a significant role in future combat scenarios, enabling massed unmanned operations designed to saturate and overwhelm enemy air defenses. This dual purpose, training and tactical deception, reflects an evolving approach to air power that balances economy, efficiency, and combat potential. While China has invested heavily in advanced drone programs, including stealth-capable platforms like the GJ-11 and high-speed reconnaissance vehicles such as the WZ-8, the conversion of older manned fighters suggests a layered approach to air operations. By combining modern UAVs with retrofitted legacy aircraft, Beijing can field diverse and flexible unmanned capabilities that complement more sophisticated systems. The J-6 drone project underscores the value of integrating past technologies into contemporary military strategies, ensuring that even retired platforms continue to contribute to national defense objectives. The practical applications of the J-6 drone extend well beyond simple training exercises. In addition to simulating enemy aircraft, these drones could be deployed in coordinated attacks to test or overwhelm defensive networks. This potential use mirrors broader trends in unmanned warfare, where swarms of inexpensive drones can present challenges to sophisticated air defense systems that would struggle to respond effectively to large volumes of simultaneous targets. By converting legacy fighters into drones, China may be creating a layered, cost-efficient method for challenging adversary defenses, blending high-end UAV technology with lower-cost, expendable platforms. Historically, the use of older aircraft as drones is not unique to China. The U.S. Air Force has operated QF-16 and QF-18 
for drones for decades, employing retired fighters as realistic targets for live-fire exercises and weapons testing. However, the scale and potential operational versatility of China's J-6 conversion program suggest ambitions that go beyond conventional training. By deploying these drones in significant numbers, Beijing could simulate complex threat scenarios for pilots and air defense operators, while also maintaining the option of using the platforms in real-world combat to support larger strategic objectives. The technological upgrades made to the J-6 drone allow it to perform a wide variety of tasks autonomously, without direct human intervention. Its autopilot system can execute complex flight patterns, navigate varied terrain, and maintain operational stability under challenging conditions. Additional wing pylons may allow the attachment of reconnaissance equipment or light munitions, further expanding the drone's potential mission set. The combination of automation and flexibility transforms a once obsolete fighter into a modern, multifunctional tool that can enhance both training and combat capabilities simultaneously. The decision to showcase the J-6 drone at a major air show also carries symbolic significance. It signals China's ability to innovate by repurposing older technologies and demonstrates a commitment to expanding unmanned capabilities across the Air Force. By publicly displaying these retrofitted fighters, China reinforces its image as a nation capable of integrating historical and contemporary military assets into cohesive operational strategies. Observers around the world are likely to view the move as a subtle but clear indication of China's broader ambitions in unmanned aerial warfare. The J-6 drone program also highlights a growing trend in military strategy, the adaptation of legacy systems to modern warfare requirements. Instead of discarding older platforms, militaries are increasingly exploring ways to extend their operational life through unmanned conversion. This approach is both economical and practical, providing a means of maintaining large, versatile fleets without the prohibitive costs of producing entirely new aircraft. In China's case, the J-6 drone represents a clever utilization of existing resources to achieve multiple objectives, from improving training realism to developing new tactical options for future conflicts. China's emphasis on drones, including both advanced UAVs and retrofitted legacy fighters, reflects a strategic understanding of the evolving air combat landscape. In future conflicts, the ability to deploy unmanned platforms in coordinated operations may prove decisive, allowing a country to challenge traditional air defense systems while preserving human pilots for higher priority missions. The J-6 drone, with its combination of historical significance, technological upgrades, and operational flexibility, fits neatly into this vision, demonstrating how legacy aircraft can be reimagined as vital components of modern military capabilities. The appearance of the J-6 drone at the Changchun Air Show also fuels speculation about China's potential tactical doctrines. Observers suggest that these drones could be used in massed formations to overwhelm enemy radar and missile systems, creating openings for more advanced manned or unmanned aircraft to conduct high-value operations. By employing low-cost, expendable drones alongside sophisticated UAVs, China could implement a layered approach to air combat that maximizes operational efficiency while minimizing risk to personnel. In conclusion, the conversion of the J-6 fighter into an unmanned drone represents a noteworthy development in China's military strategy. It exemplifies a pragmatic approach to defense planning that leverages both legacy systems and modern technologies to achieve multiple objectives. From enhancing training realism to preparing for potential large-scale unmanned operations, the J-6 drone project highlights the innovative ways in which China is redefining the utility of its historical assets. As unmanned aerial technology continues to advance, the repurposing of older aircraft like the J-6 is likely to remain a key feature of future military operations, demonstrating how ingenuity and adaptation can extend the relevance of even decades-old platforms in the modern battlefield.